Well, this may come as no surprise to many people, but uh, the wealthy are different. The wealthy are privileged, and they think so in their minds, and that comes up in their everyday actions. Um, it has been acknowledged, in, actually, in The Great Gaps, Gatsby, the, the uh, popular novel that has been a major classic and also a movie, when F. Fitz, F. Scott Fitzgerald wrote over almost 100 years ago that the rich behave more unethically and greedily towards the lower class of individuals because they feel they are privileged. So uh, there was a team of four psychology professors from the University of Berkeley, California, and a business professor from the University of Toronto. They wanted to conduct a little field study to see if this was true. Now, this is probably not going to come as any surprise to anybody because you, you see this a lot. Um, you know, what they did was they looked at the driving behavior of people behind, you know, ultra-luxury cars, cars that would not be driven by people of average means, and they wanted to see how many times the driver of the luxury car um, cut off somebody or, you know, how many times it happened when there was somebody trying to walk across the street and, you know, there was a person in a luxury car versus a person in an av a car a person would be driving of average beans. So they did a two studies and they had a busy intersection. They observed drivers who broke the laws by cutting off other vehicles and pedestrians. Uh, far more likely they were driving expensive cars. Now, I know this doesn't come as, as a surprise, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's interesting that it has been confirmed by psychology professors. Uh, it says the rich drivers broke the law with a far, far greater rate. And, you know, this is actually, you know, my observation. They could be the smoothest talking, politest people in the world, but they do break the law left and right in many different respects. Uh, so they cut off other drivers, the, the wealthy cut off other drivers almost 30% of the time and failed to yield over 46% of the time, while the lower class drivers <laughs> did so 7.7% um, 7, 7 of the time and almost not at all, they didn't have a problem yielding to pedestrians. Almost never. They almost never did that. <laughs> so, the lower class drivers, lower class, quote unquote, lower class drivers were actually treating people, other people, much more humanely than the wealthier class drivers. Now, this does not come as a surprise, but, you know, this really tells you about what's going on when the wealthy are talking about the disparity between the wealthy and the poor. They're talking about it. Or, you know, some political candidates say they want to be our champion <laughs> when they're getting all their money from the 1%. Who are they kidding? You know what I mean? Uh, when it comes right down to it, they really have no morals inside of them. Everything's all about me, 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 me. So, you know, what can you do for me? Uh, and, you know, it's all about ego and self preservation and norse it's narcissism actually that's that seems to be something that's kind of sweeping society in some ways but you know the the less people have actually the more kinder the many times the, the kinder more kinder the kinder they are to other people they're actually more likely to help a person i know my dad was considered the good samaritan all the time you know, after a while, he got kind of disgusted with it after a number of decades because he helped so many people, but when he needed help, people wouldn't help him. You know, if you were stuck on the side of the road, he used to uh, get out there and, you know, help the person with the car, change the tire, or whatever the hell they had to do, give them a lift or whatever. And, you know, a lot of times it's a one-way deal. Uh, and it is a one-way deal with the wealthy because a lot of times, you know, I've seen this many times, and boy, they really expect all kinds of extra favors. And... You know, it's with a cute smile, but then it's a favor and it's a one-way deal. And, you know, there's no money involved. So, but uh, you'll see this all the time. And, you know, it's it's in our everyday society, but it's also within, you know, the government, the politics, the whole nine yards. Uh, never trust a person with a lot of wealth. <laughs> That's really what it comes down to. They did not get that money by being nice most of the time. You know, I hate to say it, but, you know, a lot of times, yeah, it's hard work, but... It's not all hard work when you're actually making thousands of times more than the average salary. When you're making that many times more, in other words, one person doesn't do the work of 15,000 people, right? 
<laughs> when you got that much wealth, you're doing something crooked. And you know, the way and that really equates to what? Stepping all over other people or taking from other people in one way or the other. And it actually shows up in her driving habits. It's pretty interesting that the uh the team of four psychology professors from the University of California at Berkeley uh were able to determine this just by looking at an intersection, like we can see that also, you know, uh, you can see that pretty much all the time. Um, now, I know <laughs> there's are, there are exceptions to the rule because if you're driving a pickup truck with a with a railroad tie steel bumper in the front of it, Mister Mister Mercedes is not going to over is not going to try to over uh, cut you off. I almost guarantee you that because he probably figures you don't have insurance. And you're just going to put that thing in low, low, and just run the whole freaking car over with the super swampers and say, see ya, fella. <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's one good thing about driving the old stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> Especially when you got those trucks that, you know, are five pumpers for, to hit the brakes at best. You know, they, they, don't like, they don't like mess with that kind of people. They kind of mess with the people that are maybe driving a Hyundai, Hyundai or the Honda Civic or something like that or the little... Ford Focus or something. They don't mess with the freaking uh, redneck trucks, you know, because they, they, they worry about that stuff. But yeah, you know, it has been acknowledged even way back during the time when The Great Gatsby was written about, you know, the privileged attitude of the wealthy. And, you know, it shows up everywhere. But on a person-to-person -person basis, oh, they can be the sweetest people in the world. You know, as next-door neighbors and things, they can be like, oh, yeah, really super nice. But <laughs> Not when it comes to business, man. Nope. And, you know, a lot of times it don't come that way to do with driving, too. Actually, the wealthy, the first ones would be saying, you know, somebody taps them in the back or something like that. They got whiplash. They'll, they'll be the first. I can tell you there's people I know that did that. They were trying to say they got whiplash. <laughs> you know, it was like one of those things where they tapped the back of the Mercedes in and the bumper wasn't even damaged. You know, it was that low of an accident. Whiplash. <laughs> It's kind of funny, but it's kind of sad because, you know, it's so damn obvious. We know, hey, take a hike, buddy. So anyway, uh, you know, um, pretty much proven. And, you know, that's why you should never trust even a politician that has a lot of money <laughs> that says they're going to be your champion. Uh -uh, uh -uh. That's a con job. You know that deal, right? You know that deal all the way. So anyway, you know, when it comes right down to it, you know, there's the people that of means that did a lot of work and they got a lot of money because they did a lot of work. And then there's the people that actually make fifteen to twenty thousand times more or more than even that, maybe a hundred thousand times more than the average person. And you know, they couldn't be working that damn hard, they couldn't be that bright. Nobody's that freaking super duper. It's all by crookery. So they really they really stomp all over people and I can tell you right now that uh you know, you'll see this evidenced in the driving habits, too.